Hey guys, it's me again. And on the last episode, we finished our little secret quest to get our massive big boy sword. And now, we should be finally ready to go to our favorite forest temple, the first temple of Big Link Dump. So, what we have to do first before we can go to the forest temple is head over to Kakariko Village. We got a little bit of unfinished business to do before we can get things done at the forest temple. So just head on over there. There's our beautiful horse. She's just right where we left her. She's a good girl. Oh, look at Jumping around. Happy to see us. So yeah, just roll up here. What you want to do is head all the way back to the graveyard first. It's our first stop. Alright, head back here. Back here. Into the graveyard. And... No, there's no cutscene back here, but... Ow! Ow, my back! Sorry, guys. Oh, the way I was sitting hurt my back for a second. Jeez. Yeah, so I think you gotta open up this grave. Pretty sure. Maybe not. Yeah, I think I'm wrong. Um, let's see. This grave? Yeah, now when you're Big Link, you have these stupid pose. Right there. If you could see it off to the left. There. All right, this is it. So here's Dampe, the grave, whatever, and we have to race him, but he's dead now. So you basically you have to race him. He chucks fire. It can be a really annoying race if he hits you with his fire. So try to definitely try to avoid that. Um, especially when you round these corners, he likes to chuck fire right then. Like that. Come on, get up, get up. So just be very careful. Oh my. You're kidding me! What the heck? Am I seriously that bad? Come on. This is like the same exact thing that went happened with the horse race. I always finish this race first try. Now, right when I'm recording. I can't beat it. I could actually end up dying here and I don't have a fairy. Which is really bad. Oh my god! Link! You're kidding me! Sorry. I This is crazy. And we're gonna have to head out over to a fairy fountain quick after uh, this race if I can pull it out. I don't think I'll be able to. But you're kidding me. Come on. What is my deal? Alright, I'm going to try to stop talking here. Until I finish this race. Oh, jeez. Pretty sure this is the end, though. Okay, I made it. Oh, my God. That was way harder than it should have been. I got very lucky that I actually beat that. That was a horrible time. You're very quick to be able to keep up with me. <laughs> As a reward, I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called a hookshot. And yes, hookshot is a very good item. And it is definitely required to finish the game. So, yeah. But now that we he's going to give us the hookshot, he's just telling us if we come back later, he'll give us something good, which is if we race him again, he'll give us a heart piece. Which is nice, but I'm probably not going to do it, because I'm too lazy to do that. But anyways, open the treasure chest. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> you found the hook shot. Spring-loaded chain. Cast out the hook things. You can use it to drag distant items toward you, or you can use it to pull yourself towards something. Yeah, so it's like a grappling hook or something. I don't know. It's really special. And here's your one... Wait. Oh, 
Yeah, when you get to these blocks with the sun on them, that look like the door of time, you just have to play the song of time and they sh they'll disappear for you. Like that. Now, head up here. Cross these steps. And here's one chance to get a piece of heart that you're not going to get again, so you have to be really careful here. Come on. Oh, wow, I missed it. Why are you giving me this crappy view? Jeez. Look at Link is so close to dying right now. Right, yeah, be very careful. There you go. Piece of heart. And we added another heart container. Hooray! One thing we can do in this place is talk to this guy. He'll tell us a scary story. Grr. I'll never forget what happened on that day. Seven years ago. Grr. It's all that Ocarina's kid's fault. Next time he comes around here, I'm gonna mess him up. Ooh. So whip out of your Ocarina and he's like, What? You got an Ocarina? What the heck? That reminds me of that time seven years ago. Blah, blah, blah. That mean kid came here and played a strange song. Messed up this windmill. I'll never forget this song. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. So play it back to him. And yes, it's another new song. Do, 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 do. And this one brings rain. <laughs> and we have learned the song of storms. Great song. And now you can see the windmill is all sped up like crazy. It's kind of hard to get out. Okay. So now, we are finally... Wait, no. I need fairies. I'm going to do a quick pit stop. Get some fairies here. Real quick. Sorry, guys. Sorry for a little pit stop. It had to be done. I am really struggling right now. So I'm pretty sure there's fairies... In that bombable wall back here. If I'm not, I'll probably look stupid. But let's check it out. Chuck a bomb out there. And... Yes, I was right. Alright. So we got Fairy Fountain. And I think, yeah, we have three bottles. So we can fill up here. Um, so we can basically never die. How about that? So release your stupid blue fire if you have any left. Ooh. And head on over to the fairies. Try to catch them all before they all try to heal you up. Two. Three. Alright, so now we're totally filled up, all healed up, all ready to go to the forest temple. So equip your favorite items and get ready to head on out. Oh, we're going to have to get on a Pona here to get on back to our favorite spot. And the Force Temple is in that same spot that, if you remember, I said, watch it. Remember this spot when we were learning Surya Song way back many parts ago. And the Force Temple is going to be incredibly easy. So we have our big boy sword, an extra heart container, three fairies. I mean, there's no way we can lose, pretty much. Basically, no way. Do, 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 do. So yeah, head on out. Leave Kakariko. And go on down the steps here. Navi's yelling at us. And get on your girl, Epona. Hey, buddy. What's up? Ponalit seems a little depressed. You gotta get her running here. Yeah. Go. Oh. Now she's happy. So head on back to your Kokiri Forest. Pretty short trip. Check out that beautiful lone tree to my right. If you look forward here, you see a bunch of nice little trees. Do 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 do. 
park a pona right here. Head, hop on down and head into the forest. And we will be met with many challenges that will test our strength, surely. So head on up here. Just look past that stupid thing. Up this. And we're going back in the Lost Woods area here. Uh, watch out for that thing if you're really slow. Head on in here. So just take the same path you took to get to the Sacred Forest Meadow, if you remember it. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so, but yeah, right here. And he, oh, look at this. It's Mido. Who are you? Though you wear Kokiri's clothing, you can't fool me. I promised the I would never let anybody go through here. Oh, well how about this kid? Oops. Um. No. What the? What am I doing? What is Surya's song? There. Yeah, you gotta play him Surya's song. And he'll be like, no way. Three only takes that to her good friends. Uh, and Melody. Three plays that song all the time. You, do you know Surya? That song. Three taught that song only to her friends. Okay, I trust you. What is he? But I remember him. Yeah, he remembers him. And uh, him is me, the one who basically tortured him for his entire life. I feel kind of bad about it. Do, 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 do. So yeah, go forward. And then I'm pretty sure you go left. Yep. And then hang a right into the forest meadow. No wolf here, but what you're going to find are a dirty new enemy that I'm sure smell horrible once Navi stops screaming at me here. Is this the first Navi scream fest of Big Dome? I think it is. And it's a long one. Oh my god, Navi. Stop! Please, Navi. Please. Oh, that was a long one. Alright. And if you can see right there, that's why Navi was screaming at this girl. These guys are no joke. You got him with your hook shot. If you get in their way, they're going to take you down. For sure. So you got to be really careful when you're going up th against these guys. I'm going to get in here. You want to kind of be at an angle where you can shoot them, but they you're not they can't see you because they're apparently have really bad eyesight. So just shoot them with your hook shot there. They usually leave decent items. This one, I yeah, I always seem to get hurt on this one. Hey, buddy. Ha! Ah, he didn't see us. I totally tripped that guy. He had a nasty fall there. Is there one here? Hope not. Whoa! What the? Get on my face, dude. Get taken down. Yeah, so now once you get through all those guys, you're gonna find one big dog up here. And he's a big dog. Look at this. He's gonna, once he brings up his little club there, and I screwed up. Ha ha ha, da. Yeah, well, get past him and stab the crap out of him with your sword. And look at that. He leaves a big big uh, blue fire crap. Alright, so we are ready to head on in the forest temple. I wonder what's going on in the forest right now. I'm worried about Surya. Navi Screamfest. Uh, that's it for this part, guys. In the next part, we'll start the forest temple. Thanks, guys.